Paolo was a, a kid we'd heard about in the area. He was a runner. He loved running. Uh, we'd see him on the trails when we were working out because he'd be on the trails, this little, this little guy. Uh, but we really didn't know much about him. One of the Loyola Cross Country alums saw me running and said, hey, like you should consider coming to Loyola. If tuition assistance were not offered, was this a possibility? I don't think so. He lived a couple miles from Loyola, but it could have been two oceans away, and uh, it was never gonna be a part of his life. And then suddenly, the possibility of it being part of his life uh, emerged. I do have vivid memories about my family and I gathering around the dining room and the acceptance letter comes in and then finding out about the tuition assistance program. It was a very special moment for me and my family just knowing that there is an opportunity and we, it, there was an open door and we want to take advantage of that opportunity and it was an opportunity of a lifetime. He was a kid who wanted to be here. He wanted to be at Loyola and he was willing to do whatever it took to be here. You could push him and push him and push him, and he embraced it. And he did it with, with kind of a joy. He was willing to do whatever it took to help the team. Maybe he wasn't going to run his best race in a meet, but we needed someone to run the mile. And, OK, I'll do it. No, run the mile relay? OK, I'll do it. Whatever he had to do to help the team, he was just that selfless teammate that really any coach would love to have. Hello, Tiansen. Still run every day, almost every day, like six to seven days a week. Ran my second Chicago Marathon a few weeks back. I believe athletics and extracurriculars are very important. They teach young athletes, they teach young students how to be very disciplined. Learning the notion of work ethic and what hard work means, I think that's shaped me to be a better person. And I thought he, like all our students, help shape influence, alter the school. We attract students who are eager to do a little bit more, to strive for the modus, the extra, the, um, the intangibles oftentimes. And it's really gratifying to see them giving the modus, growing to be these women and men for others. We owe it to them to do everything we can to provide that education we can meet the needs of the students where they're at and understand this is who's in front of me and I'm gonna help you learn and grow and your finish line might be different than another student's finish line. Uh, and that's okay because growth is growth. So I'm the director of the O'Shaughnessy program. What we do doesn't exist anywhere else. Our literacy and learning course ultimately is an enrichment course. It doesn't show up on a transcript. There's no grade. It's ultimately for students to understand why and how we learn the way that we do and how can I use these skills and strategies, not just in this enrichment course, but in my content classes so that I can be successful. This is a great place for us to practice and bounce ideas off of our class because we're not- A lot of these kids are really good students. They just need that extra time. They just need that extra support and once they learn how to manage that, the sky's the limit for them. I feel like there are a lot of students that are in the same position as I was in. I think it's all about investing in the next generation. They won't waste any time to take advantage of that opportunity. It is part of, of our original charism that we seek to provide this amazing education to everyone who desires it. We aren't going to be just for those who have, but for those who might need a little help and yet still can be part of something that they want to be a part of, and we want to invite them in the door and help them help them be here. Part of the Loyola experience is that we are not just a North Shore school. We are a Chicagoland school. We take in students from nearly 100 zip codes. We want those students to have access to different viewpoints, different backgrounds, different experiences. You don't learn if you are not challenged, and you are not challenged unless you meet people who are different from you. Loyal Academy is the kind of place where donations go to those who need them the most. Your donations are turned into the tools, by which I mean the young people, that will go on to make a difference, to make our society, our country better. 
That's a great responsibility that we have, but it's also a great opportunity to be a part of a 500 plus year tradition of Jesuit education, of proven worth and success. That's, that's Loyal Academy. First in my family to go to U.S. high school, first in my family to go to college in the U.S. So yeah, I'm, I'm very proud of the moment, very thankful, I'm very blessed to have that opportunity and very thankful for the tuition assistance program and also the staff at Loyola who guided me and believed in me throughout my four years at Loyola.